Hey guys, so I am in my house right now. In a few minutes, I'm going to head out. I'm going to New Orleans. I'm going to meet up with my friend Jess, who I did the cemetery video with a couple months back when we visited um, the Haunted Cemetery in Ocean Springs. And today we are going to a few different locations around the area having to do with Madame Valori who I also did a video on about a week or so ago. I'll try to link that somewhere where it's easily accessible. We're just going to explore a few areas around New Orleans having to do with her. And of course, we're going to end up going to, you know, the infamous mansion at 1140 Royal Street, where all of the horrible things and murder and everything um, ended up going down. I visited the LaVori Mansion in 2016. Fun fact, I actually threw up outside the LaVori Mansion. Um, if you ever go on a ghost tour or some kind of walking tour and they offer you a discount on alcohol, don't take it. Just my random advice. I'm gonna leave in a few minutes. I'm gonna stop talking now, so I will see you guys when I get there. So I hope you can see my face. I'm in New Orleans. We are about to go look at a bed and breakfast. Maybe where Madame Lavara used to live. Um, or at least something to do with her. So I will see you in a second. Taking a video. <laughs> this is Jess. Say hi. hi. Don't you love her glasses? Yeah. Yay. So what did you say this was? This bed and breakfast? So this was built in the 1860s and I was trying to see if there's an actual connection to the McCarty family. Um, that's uh, Delphine's maiden name. I could not find one on Google, and I just found out this place existed today. Pauline would have been uh, one side of it, and it stretches two blocks that way to Bartholomew. It's definitely not a plantation anymore. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Uh, so, her father dies, and she and her brother inherit the land. He inherited the middle middle part coming up Alvar because that's where the house was and you know she had her second husband's house so she in inherited the side so we're headed towards this house that she sold the down river side to came the Lombard plantation and one of those houses is still there this is the glasses of knowledge so yes <laughs> can you tell us where we are yeah all right so uh, she inherited uh, part of her land from her daddy, and uh, it was on either side of the main house area. Anyway, so this section she sold to this Lombard guy, which I'm probably butchering his name, uh, but he built this house for his son, and this is the original house from 1826. And uh, at least from pictures, that's kind of the style that uh, the McCarty house may have been in as well, except the McCarty house was two stories. Uh, and this is only one, it's a lot smaller. But yeah, I know it was in disrepair some point and then and it's been like in the last 20 years somebody came in and renovated it quite quite extensively and it's nice so we are here at what used to be the plantation of Madame Lalaurie's second husband. Is that yes, right? Yes. Okay. But now it's this. And later on it was a train station. And uh, apparently where the conception of the civil rights movement began. And now it's this nice mural. It's very pretty. Delphine's probably rolling in her grave somewhere, which I think is awesome. <laughs> I'm walking on the side of the road, unlike Jess, because I don't want to get hit by a car because I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Love you, Jess. This is the house where it all went down. Some weirdos I occasionally hear call it the Lori, but I don't. Balcony where she, which 
chased a slave girl off to her death. That could be wrong. Well, I just wonder, you may be parked right there. Are we going to the parking lot? Now, the outside of this place has had a facelift, and I had heard one tour guide say that this belt. I can't verify that. I mean, unfortunately, if you listen to tour guides, some tour guides will tell you the torture room was on the third floor, and the third floor wasn't actually there until like 1850 or something. So. Well, it was the attic then. Well, no, I mean, there wasn't a third floor. Yeah. It was two stories tall. But, I mean, it's whatever would have been the attic. Oh, yeah, whatever would have been the attic. And then I've also heard it said it was in the dependency. And Cable's version is in a book that the, 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 the dependency back there used to be four stories tall. So, who knows? So this is an antique shop now, but 409 Royal Street was apparently where... Madame Lori's second husband lived at one point. Hard to see it from here. And this is it. Better shot of it from across the street. It's right across from the Supreme Court of Louisiana. So it's nighttime now, and I'm back. Um, I believe this is a museum now. Jess, am I correct in saying that this is, or used to be the building where they brought the surviving slaves yes. after they found the slaves in the attic? Correct. Okay. And now it's a museum. What was it back then, do you know? Uh, state building. Uh, okay. So government offices were in there. Okay. Yeah, they have been there until like after the turn of the 1900s. All right. Very nice. And of course, right next to this museum is the infamous cathedral. It says low light. Can you see me? So we're here hanging out at the front of the Lalari house. It feels a little creepy. Um, sitting in front of some random person's house because technically it is someone's house but there are some tourists across the street taking pictures of it too so I don't feel that bad we would do a paranormal investigation and try to talk to ghosts but we're idiots and don't know how to do that so we're just gonna hang out here and look like even bigger idiots yeah I, I really don't think there's any like great strategy I mean literally you watch those shows it's I have a recording device, like this camera, and I'm running around. Well, they usually have, like, something to record the voices for, like, EVPs, or they have, like, a spirit box. I'm pretty sure you can get, like, a spirit box app on your phone, which I could have done before I got here, but I didn't. So, you know. We'll Sorry, see. we're bad ghost hunters. Let's see if anything pokes us in the back. <laughs> <laughs> like, a. Uh, the owner of the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when he comes out, like, what the fuck are you doing on the stairs? Nothing. Get out of my house, you crazy kids. Too much American Horror Story. There's a tour here, I think. There might be about to talk about the mansion. Let's see. I don't want to record them because that's weird. Or hear me it's really dark I didn't want to turn my car on because it would be loud but it's about 8 30 and I'm in a my car in a random parking lot in New Orleans so that's weird but we are done for the day and my car just came off <laughs> so we just finished up for the day I'm gonna go home go to sleep I'm exhausted I think my fitness app on my phone said I walked like five miles today so I'm probably gonna be really sore tomorrow but I'm gonna edit this footage and I will see you guys next time bye